Okay, so in this example, we will uh, find some missing voltages in a collection of circuit elements that are shown here in this picture. Uh, we're given a number of voltages, but we're missing voltage V1, V2, and V3. And we'll use Kirchhoff's voltage law in order to find these missing voltages. Quick recap on Kirchhoff's voltage law. Kirchhoff's voltage law basically says if you walk around a circuit in a loop, the sum of voltages around that loop should sum to zero. So using this approach, now let's first find the loop. So I see circuit elements right here. We can call a loop. There's no set direction you need to assign when you do the loops, but uh, so just pick one. So I'm going to say these four elements are in a loop and I'm going to go counterclockwise. So I'll call this loop one. And at, in order to apply Kirchhoff's voltage law, we need to start out at a particular location. So I'm going to say I am going to start walking around this loop starting at this node. Kirchhoff's voltage law says walk around the loop, write down the sign that you see and the magnitude of the voltage you see. So as I walk around this loop, I see negative 40 minus 40 plus 5 volts plus V1 plus 10 volts and I walk back to the, to the same place I started so that all of that sum should be equal to zero. So minus 40 because I in, in encountered a negative sign first, so minus 40, plus 5, plus V1, plus 10 volts. And then I end up here, so that's equal to 0. So loop 1, minus 40, plus 5, plus V1, plus 10 should be equal to 0. And if I uh, simplify this, I should get V1 is equal to 25 volts. So I have V1 equals 25 volts. Using that exact same approach, I can walk around the second loop. Again, I have a counter, um, I have a clockwise loop. Uh, in this case, I am starting at this node right here. So starting at that node, what I see is basically on loop two, I see negative V1, positive 20 volts, positive V2, and I end up at the back of the loop. So minus V1 plus 20 plus V2 is equal to 0. We just found the value of V1 right here, so we can substitute that. So using that, V2 equals V1 minus uh, 20. So V1 was 25. 25 minus 20 gives us 5 volts. So we have 5 volts right here. For the final loop, we can walk around. Again, in the same direction, I call it loop 3. And in that loop, again, let me start out here. And if I start out there, the first thing I encounter is a negative sign and then a V2. So minus V2, minus and a 5 volt, minus 5, plus and a V3, and I end up at the loop. So I write that down as minus V2, minus 5, plus V3 is equal to 0. So some of the voltages around loop 3 is equal to 0. We know V2 is 5, so substituting that, we end up with V3 to be equal to 10 volts. Now, when we're done with all of this, we could use an external loop or some other loop that's in the circuit that we haven't used so far to figure out uh, if what we did was actually correct. So let's take a quick look. So I'm going to basically walk around the outer perimeter of the circuit. So I'm going to say this giant external loop right there and I'm going to say that I'm going to just since I've been starting at the bottom I'll say I will start at this top node right here and I'm basically going to walk around the elements on the outer loop so let's check to see if what we got was actually correct so starting at this loop the first thing I encounter is plus five so plus five next thing I encounter is plus 20 so the total sum of the voltages in this path right now is plus 5 plus 20 25 next thing I encounter is minus 5 so 25 minus 5 that's 20 next thing I encounter is plus v3 v3 is uh, 10 so 20 plus 10 is 30 and then the next thing I encounter is a plus and a 10 volts so 30 plus 10 is 40 and then the next thing I encounter is a negative sign. So I have 40 so far. So at this point, at this particular point, I have plus 40 around as I'm walking around the loop. And I see minus 40. So minus 40 
and plus 40 minus 40 should be equal to 0 and I am back where I started with that so that basically means is the volt that the voltages I might have calculated are actually uh, correct so in other words this voltage that was here was calculated correctly so there's a way to check your answer uh, when you do Kirchhoff's voltage law around uh, so only thing to remember that the start out in a loop and basically the sum of the voltages around that loop must be equal to zero.